Hi, my name is Ron Shapiro. I'm Professor of Surgery and Director of Kidney, Pancreas, and Islet Transplantation at the Thomas E. Starzl Transplantation Institute at the University of Pittsburgh. Today I want to talk about a recently published randomized trial uh, from uh, Innsbruck, Austria. Uh, first author is Raymond Margreiter. Uh, they performed a randomized trial of alemtuzumab with tacrolimus monotherapy and compared it to uh, standard tacrolimus, mycophenolate, monophotil, and steroid based immunosuppression. Uh, this was a multi center trial in Europe. Patient and graph survival were comparable between the two groups, and um, the incidence of rejection uh, was uh, uh, initially lower in the alemtuzumab group. Uh, by one year, the incidences of rejection were not statistically different, although still numerically lower in the alentuzumab patients, and the incidence of uh, moderate rejection was uh, seemingly less in the uh, alentuzumab group. Uh, there was a higher incidence of CMV infection, uh, probably related to a, uh, a relatively shorter course of uh, valgancyclic or prophylaxis in the uh, alentuzumab uh, patients. Uh, the the importance of this trial is that it provides uh, a prospective randomized uh, trial basis for assessing the efficacy of uh, alemtuzumab with tacrolimus monotherapy and concludes that it seems to be comparable to uh, conventional tacrolimus MFF steroid based immunosuppression. Uh, given the economics of uh, uh, induction agents uh, in the uh, transplant community, it is unlikely that we will be able to get a formal uh, registration trial uh, to assess the utility of alemtuzumab in uh, kidney transplantation. Uh, and this may be the best we're going to get. This is an important trial and provides important confirmation to the many single center non-randomized experiences uh, that have been published uh, from centers around the world. Thank you.